to have the new Reluma product. Um, we're excited to have a, this available to our, our patients. And, uh, you know, can you tell me the, about the breakthrough and, and what makes this so much different for our patients? Dr. Novak, this is a very good question. Our uh, core technology in Invitrex is uh, wound healing. And uh, once we were sort of uh, sidetracked to this adipose drive mesenchymal stem cell, uh, previously we were using uh, dermal fibroblast uh, cells to produce this product, but uh, we shifted our technology to adipose drive mesenchymal stem cell. Again, these are uh, amazing cells from the vantage point that when they are in vitro or when they are in culture, they produce all these cool factors and cytokines. Literature indicates that we have over 387 different growth factors and cytokines in this product. Having said that, this basically product remodels wound or uh, basically heals uh, wound. Heals the wrinkle. Heals I mean, the, the wrinkle. wrinkle is essentially the, the scar. Uh, or uh, as people like to call it, wound. Uh, so the, again, this is really a technology that lends uh, the science of wound healing into uh, these patients. This uh, product has been on the market in this form for the last three years. We are a uh, startup, a small company. We are a biotech firm. By no means we are a cosmetic company, but uh, uh, we have been very proud of the product. And, uh, but it's the first product to use this technology. Uh, it is the first product that uses basically ad adult adipose stem cell or stem cell technology from human. There are other products on the market that are using uh, uh, fruit, for example, uh, apple stem cell. But again, this is this is human. This is human stem cell. This is human stem cell. Okay. When we're talking about stem cells, I mean, everyone hears about it in the news, on, on TV. Can you just give us a, a, a brief summary um, on the basics of the, the stem cell theory, the, the stem cell, what it's going to offer uh, to our patients? You cannot tease me like this. There is no way I can speak briefly about the stem cells, but I'll try to do my best. Stem cell from a, uh, uh, a basic science uh, or uh, the impact of uh, uh, stem cell in medicine as we know it is going to be amazing. A lot of people like to basically use the new stem cell uh, paradigm to penicillin. That changes like this in medicine happen once every century. Now, why do we say this is really interesting because there are two different aspect to stem cell uh, technology. One is that these, cell, these cells are self-renewal. Just imagine if you had money that was doubling every 18 to 24 hours. That's uh, one that'd aspect. Be, that'd be amazing. That okay. would be amazing. Imagine if you had $1 million in the bank and the money doubled every 18 to 24 hours. And they can duplicate themselves basically to the T every time. That's the one uh, aspect of a stem cell. The other aspect of the stem cell that is interest to you as a clinician that these cells can differentiate. They are naive cells. They basically differentiate according to the microenvironment. So if you put them close to cartilage, they will basically uh, transform themselves to cartilage or bone or what have you. So having said that, and they uh, get so affected by the microenvironment, they get signaling from the microenvironment. They also can send signaling a trophic effect on the area to heal the area, let's say in the cardiomyocyte area post infarct or in the lung disorders uh, as we discussed in COPD. So these are these are really uh, are really amazing uh, uh, paradigm and shift in paradigm of how we are going to practice medicine in the next 10 to 15 years. There is a lot of hype the science is new, one needs to be cautious. This is not coming to the theater near you soon, but uh, the science is developing as we speak and it's very exciting. And uh, I personally consider myself to be very fortunate to be in the midst of this. So a lot to be learned, but also a lot to be hopeful that we can hopefully cure some of these uh, uncurable diseases. But uh, with the caveat, 
that this may take a decade or two for us to go after diseases like Parkinson or COPD or other diseases. Yeah, that's extremely exciting. It's great that we have some things that we can already reach out and offer to people now, but the future does look amazing for, uh, for stem cells. We're, we're glad to have this technology uh, there and available. Thank you so much. Again, in, uh, in your space, in the static, uh, is here. The, the science is here, the technology is here. One needs to just fine tune it. Great. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Professor. Thank you.